Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, uh, Balls of Steel speedrun edition, at least for me. So, I guess we're going to get started again on a new run, once again picking Judas, as we do, uh, for this mod. And on your mark, get set, and go. So we are of course going to reset until we get an item room. See if we get anything good. So once again, we start as Judas with half a soul heart and the D6. Otherwise, everything is normal. That said, that's a pretty big change. So the idea of the mod is, since this is used for the weekly speedruns, uh, when they choose to use Rebirth, uh, when they choose to use the Judas mod, And uh, the whole idea is that Judas has a better damage ratio. His character damage ratio is 1.3 instead of 1.0. I guess we're starting tech point five, uh, which makes him a lot stronger. And since we're going for damage in speed runs, that's kind of the goal. Looking for a bomb here. Okay, curve torn is great. That's two damage outside the equation. Oh man, I want bombs so bad. Two bombs is the exact right number, too. We'll get those on the way back. Uh, but yeah, so now we, we have a better damage multiplier. And on top of that... Nice. On top of that, we also... only start with one health, because we're Judas. And so that we don't get one shot by champions, and so that if you get if you get unlucky and don't see any any tinted rocks uh, in the first out two floors, and don't get hit, you can still take a deal with the devil on the second floor. Oh my gosh, magic mush again! We opened with magic mush on the last run. Good lord. Okay, that's fine by me. We're not going to go into there, but now we are doing really good on health for trading in with deals of the devil, and we're doing good on damage. Tech point five is really good as a start because it's piercing, and piercing does a lot for you, especially in the early levels. Now we want to save our reroll. Demon baby's not bad, but it's not going to make or break a run. We're looking for a bomb. Couldn't quite get that where we needed to we needed it to be. That's okay. We want to save our reroll for the deal with the devil that we will be getting. We are just eating through Monstro. That was unfortunate. But we still are guaranteed this deal. HP up and luck. I will take... Uh, that is worth it. Dam tears up and uh, damage up. Since I don't reroll, I don't want Demon Baby. Uh, Demon Baby is a familiar that sits there and just shoots a lot, which isn't bad. Um, on a normal run, I would take it. Uh, but the downside being that. Oh, man, I need bombs. The downside of this is that while it's sitting there. Ah, damn. Okay, this did finish. Oh man, do I really want bombs now. We could get mapping like nobody's business. It's triple shot, no. Gosh darn it, I want bombs really, really bad. So this could be a bell of bandages or a cube of meat. Of course I'd hit that. That's unfortunate. I could be really, really in danger right now. Forgetting I should skip those. Uh, but yeah, uh, having... Having it right there, Demon Baby that is, uh, in the first slot means that things like... Um, Little Brimstone, or... Um, I'll take it. I'll get some soul hearts out of it. Since I want to save the reroll. 
That was unfortunate. Wanna avoid red heart damage, so not getting hit is kind of important right about now. Um, I'm oof. Tough decision actually, but I think I'm sticking with the curved horn. The chance of proccing a compass effect on that is not quite high enough. Oh, man. I'm making some bad decisions. It's true. So this Gertie is a champion Gertie who only spawns things, I think? I'm taking care of that so it doesn't snipe me. Not guaranteed to deal with the devil on this floor. I probably should have re-rolled that, but... We're trying to go fast. So... And most of this is about making those snap decisions that I need to make and doing it correctly. That's what the practice is. There is definitely some, like, control benefits, right? Like, getting better at... Oh my gosh. It's gonna be faster to clear this room, but we're in the wrong area. Which means I have to pick another direction. I haven't used this pill, because I don't know what it is. And I'm dumb, so we're gonna give it a shot. Hematomesis is not what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for a uh, teleport. That was a mistake. Obviously because I didn't get what I wanted in there. Luckily we found a soul heart there. And I do have the relic, so getting soul hearts isn't the worst thing in the world. But, lord my deal with the double chance if I would have gotten hit. Oh my gosh, that's so, so bad what just happened right there. Our damage is really good though, so I can't complain about that. That was close. And I was either take the full heart of damage from the explosion or the half heart from stepping on the creep. I think I made the decision to not get hit by the bomb. Monster 2. Oh. That was close. I do want him to laser. Can't really lock him in laser as easily as we used to be able to. Now he's dead. Krampus, gotta pay the Krampus tax. It's coal, so we leave it. I will take growth hormones. Don't want placenta, it basically takes me out of my chance to get a, to, to manage my, why am I doing this? I don't get to manage my, uh, my red health anymore. Because every minute it has a chance to regenerate. That's a magician card always. That was a wonky game of chick. Don't play that game of chicken. That's a bad game of chicken to play. So this ghost is annoying. Our damage is good enough though to take care of him. Oh, so it wasn't our relic that paid out last room. I want that bomb. Bombs are going to be useful in the future. Whew, managed to dodge that. Three dollar bill. Nope, not in a million years. Uh, random tier effects. But mostly it's just a way to get yourself screwed in a room that you don't really want to be screwed in. Like my reflection in a room that requires long range. Now I know I've not been watching adequately enough for Tinted Rocks. But this is Mom, which I totally didn't think about. I don't have a teleport, which is okay. No deal with the devil. If I had a teleport, I might have taken the crystal ball, because it's mapping. I managed to get uh, shop money, but, you know, like one room too late, basically. Uh, 
I am in need of keys, so I should go back. I am going to the chest after all, so... I need four keys. We're doing good on health, so I'm not too concerned about that. We're going on a very long path, which means I'm guessing correctly. Since I don't actually know or have a way to hang it. Well, make me eat my words, game. Take advantage of our range here with an infinite laser. This could still be the right way. There's a tinted rock up there, but I can't get to it. Here's our boss. So here's our last chance at the devil room. We're not making guppy, so chances are I won't take anything guppy related. Double cage is not ideal, but I will deal. That was unfortunate. They both lined up, which is really great for tech. Beautiful. Uh, I'm not taking that, actually. I should have re-rolled it. Why did... Eh. Was not thinking. Don't want to spend our keys. Not worth the effort. Oh, this is a terrible room. Luckily with piercing we'll be okay. We really haven't gotten a tears up, this is something I've noticed. Uh, I am purposely just trying to get as many of these in the room as I can. Normally you don't necessarily want to do that, but because we have piercing, we definitely do. Not worth going back, but I did, so... Um, I've got the health that I'm going to do it. That was kind of bad, I was trying to push the chest and ignore the spiders. Didn't see a tinted rock in there, so we chose the exact wrong direction, which sucks. But it happens. Um, probably would have been faster to just bomb out of this room. Probably. This room not quite. Depends how problematic that one was. We did get a key for it, although we are past our need for keys. So this is guaranteed to be the right way, because there is no other way. Stupid troll bomb. Well, it offers us one of the correct ways. Our piercing and our damage are good. I shouldn't have gone this way. It was the least likely of the ways, because it would have had to wrap around. Tears up. That was risky, but it paid off. Could have been anything, could have been a tears down, could have been a speed down, could have been all sorts of terrible things, but it wasn't. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't ask me why I'm taking it. I've got so much red health that it doesn't really matter. I can't trade it all away, so I might as well have health. Might as well. Alright, so because this is the cathedral, I'm likely going to start bombing out of rooms that I don't think are the correct way. Because it has started to get faster to do that. Alright, we know it's down. Oh my god. Screw this room and my inability to bomb out of it. Alright, we know this is the right way, so I don't feel bad bombing out of it. Eight ghosts. Luckily this room is faster to clear. We want bombs so that we can bomb out of stuff. I do have quite a few bombs, so I'm not like ridiculously concerned. It's one of those rooms that you try and kill. I didn't actually clear it. Oh well. Oh, he already got it, but I'm just gonna go. I'm taking some real gambles. I'm going 
to have to go really far if this is not the right way. Luckily it is, and everything pays off. Can't even take that. Huh. That's right, it wasn't a black heart room. Doesn't matter. Let's see if we can take out Isaac. Oof, dodged back too quickly. I'm taking a lot of damage here. It's okay, I can deal, but I'm dodging in a way that I... I don't know. It's a very odd way. Usually you don't dodge like that. I'm trying to power through it. Okay, he gave us a nice opening there. And we're about to finish him off. Just in case. There we go. We don't have mapping, so this chest could take a while. Alright, so now I've got Sacrificial Dagger, I can use it aggressively. Oof, man. Trying to avoid those shots was a little ridiculous, but it worked out. I'm hoping for something. I pretty much have to clear every room. Or I may be required to finish every room just because of the nature of things. Even if I get mapping, I will not know. I'm not really concerned about my health all that much. I need you to die. This way, maybe? Nope. I'm not at all keeping track. Orbitals happen to be in the right place there. This is also unfortunate. This feels like we're going the right way, but because I literally don't have a map. That's very unfortunate. So I'm lost now. I've basically been driving towards the corners. And it's not in any of these locations. Yeah. So now my time is going to suffer quite a bit. Because I don't know the ways that I've been. Explicitly. So that's back in... Oh no, this is a new way. Alright, I'm using the fight. Which is time that I can't really do much about. To actually check out the layout here. This chest definitely connects with itself. Speaking of. I don't have Polaroid invincibility, so I do have to be a little careful. This is a terrible room. My orbital ended up in the right spot there. Uh, I could hope. Got enough fire rate that it doesn't really matter. And I went right into that one, so... I'm gonna full clear this chest. Or I'm going to die, one of the two, because I'm trying to go too fast now.
Would've been really nice if I'd had an Emperor card. And here we go. I'm only getting hit twice while being super aggressive. So I took a little long to actually pause there. Curses! <laughs> uh, oh well. That was slated to possibly be a really good run, but we didn't pick up any mapping, and we had to clear, like, full clear that chest. And that was a big chest, and it was Curse of the Lost, so I had no idea where I was going. So, probably lost a lot of time there on the chest, but overall, still a pretty solid run. There weren't too many mistakes, as far as I would put it. Um, obviously, not knowing everything that's on all of the floors, I can't necessarily know if there wasn't a better way of doing it. Maybe if I had taking the time to backtrack to the shop, I would have found mapping of some sort, and that might have made the next few floors fast enough to make up for that time, but if I hadn't found mapping, then it wouldn't have been worth it, obviously, and even if I had found mapping, if it was enough of a backtrack, because I don't know if I'd seen the shop on that floor yet, but if it had been enough of a backtrack that only a chest would have been worth it, then it wouldn't have been worth it because I couldn't have used mapping on my chest. I would have needed a black candle. And that's just sometimes how it goes. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I certainly did. And yeah, 17 minutes real time. It's not terrible. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please feel free to check out Balls of Steel. Um, I'm not actually affiliated with them at all. I'm just using their mod. Uh, I am going to eventually move on to the diversity mod, which I'll have a fun time explaining um, when I decide to use it, but I will likely need an item tracker for that one uh, for a very specific reason. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.